Hello guys, another Saturday video from my car which became a tradition and topic of the day is arguments online. Have you noticed how often developers argue between each other about certain way how they code things, whether it's framework or language or design pattern or technique or whatever. And some of those arguments and discussions are pretty productive, but a lot of them are pretty toxic, negative and even personal attacking people for what they use or don't use or whatever. And you probably have participated in some of those yourself. So today I want to summarize a podcast by Taylor Otwell and Matt Stauffer, which I've summarized also in an article with eight tips on dev.2. So I will link both of them in the description of this video so you can listen to the full podcast with Taylor or read my summary article. And out of all people, Taylor Otwell should know a thing or two about arguments online, because imagine how many pull requests and general requests and critiques and various comments Taylor has received over 10 years of Laravel on Twitter or Reddit or elsewhere. So what Taylor has to say about how to be open-minded and how to argue better online or not to argue, in this video I will have three tips, paraphrased from what Taylor said. So the first one is good intentions, and that should come both from your intentions and assuming the intentions from the person you're arguing with. So if you are attacked by someone, your idea or your framework or whatever, assume that that person has good intentions to improve something. Improve your code, improve their own code maybe, improve something in like social open source world or something. They are not necessarily negative, even if they sound so. So there's gray area how to understand things online and you may misinterpret that as bad intentions, whereas actually it was good intentions. And I was guilty of that for quite a lot of time. I came across as a talking person, even Taylor himself. So at times, especially in the beginning of Laravel 8, I was pushing Taylor and kind of attacking him for why he released Jetstream and abandoned Laravel UI and changed auth and stuff like that. And I came across really rude and it was because I misphrased my words, but my intentions were good to improve the framework and to defend the people who were used to the old way of doing things. So by default, you as a receiver of the criticism, as a receiver of the argument, think about that person as they have good intentions. Maybe that will not be true in the end. Maybe they are trolling, but by default, start with the good intentions in mind. And when you are posting your message yourself, also start with good intentions to improve the discussion, to improve someone else's code. Try to phrase the arguments in a polite way and not in an attacking way. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is look at the code. So, so many times arguments come from just a few Twitter messages with a short phrases attacking something like framework X is bad or framework Y is not the same anymore. And people don't look at the code at exact examples of context in which context this framework or that framework may be better or worse. It depends on the context. So the more people actually look at the code of the context, the better the discussion may become. So if you are in the middle of the argument of the discussion, try to point to the exact example or ask for the exact example from that person. And finally, Taylor paraphrased and quoted the classic book of Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Influence People, I think that's the title. And the author, long before online or social media, the book was written in the first half of 20th century, from what I remember. The point there is stop arguing with people in general because it doesn't make sense because you never win. If you win the argument, then yeah, you're satisfied that you're smarter than that other person. But then that person becomes sad and miserable. And in the end, you end the relationship with that person potentially, or they are angry at you and upset about you for a long time. So you don't actually win in terms of relationships. And if you lose the argument, well, you lose the argument. So there's no winner in arguments, in pointless arguments online or offline or wherever. So Taylor repeated that thought on the podcast, and I still do recommend that you listen to the full podcast. It's about 30 minutes long or 20 minutes or something like that, or read my summary on Dev2, and I will link both of them in the description below. 
In the comments, share your experience. Have you had any experience of toxic discussion online? And did you feel bad about that discussion afterwards? Is it the same like I did multiple times? So after the discussion, hours after the discussion is over, I still remember the arguments and still process that through my head. Then it ruins the productivity for the rest of the day. And in the end, no one is the winner of that discussion. So have you encountered something like this? Am I not alone? Share in the comments and see you guys in other videos.